And after all that being said, here we are. Here I am watching myself on TV, videotaping myself for you. Yes, you. All right, so I, got, I just want to talk. I couldn't do it live for some reason. I think I had too much stuff on my laptop like that needed to, need to close out a bunch of windows before I started talking. So it didn't work. So now I get the chance to edit this and upload this or, or edit this. Because I really don't like editing nothing out. Because when I'm inspired and prompted to say something, I just say it. And right now, just trying to talk about life. And I know that somebody here, somehow in some way, can relate to what I'm about to say. So let's talk about life. Let's do it. All right. So now that I have your attention, what are you going to do with your life? What are you going to do with your life? What are you going to do with your purpose? What are you going to do with the dash between the your name and the year you was born and the year that you leave this earth? There's a dash in there. And that dash could be stretched out. That dash could be legendary. That dash could be of the utmost importance. You was important to somebody. You are important to somebody. It's people that you don't even know right now, that I don't even know right now, that are waiting on you and me to step it up, to step up to the plate, to the calling, to the purpose that we was born to be here for. Does that make sense so far? I put something down there in the chat box and let me know you with me. Let me know you understand where I'm coming from and let me know what if you know. Let me know what you know about you. Let me know what you know about your purpose. Because the only way you're gonna find out what your purpose in life is and what you was born to do, not the persona, or the personified version of you that you think you are, that you've been all these years. So you've been that way or that person for so long that you think that that's you, but it ain't. I got news for you, honey child. I have news for you. That's not you. That's not the real you. What you talking about, Char? How you know? You don't know me yet. I don't have to know you to know what I'm talking about, to know that I'm not the only one that understands this truth of who I am, who I thought I was, and who I am to become. Let's sing this song right quick. It's called Become, Love, Serve, Tell, and Worship. And what I mean by that is become Love, because love is the answer to everything. Maze said it best. Love is the key to life. The thing that makes it right. I don't know the words, but that song is bound. Look it up. Love is the key by Maze. Frankie Beverly and Maze. So anyway, love is the answer and then in order to show love to the planet, to the planetary people, to the world, to the unity, to the universe, universe in you. Um, in order to show that, you got to become, you got to become it. You got to become it. Do you want to be, do you 
First, you got to figure out what, what is love. Some folk don't know. I didn't know what love was for a long time because I wasn't shown what real love was when I was growing up. When I was born into this world, I don't know about you, but I felt that love from the presence of the God, of the Holy Spirit, around me and then in me. Okay? I understand what it was now, but I didn't know what it was before. All right, but anyway, um, so this song, Become Love, and Become Love, Serve, Serve Tell, and Worship, so when I wrote that song, I, would, I think this is what it means. To become love, serve in service, be of service, some kind of way in some capacity. This is how you find your purpose. You're going to become love and everything you do and live and breathe and think and do, everything is going to be about love. How can I love in this situation? How can I be kind in this situation? How can I... Excuse me. Okay, be kind and there's another word I want. Become love. Be kind. Just be kind. I think those are the two words that are, that are most important to me every single day now. So become love. Serve. Tell. Tell people what you know. Tell people about what you've been through because you ain't the only one that's been through it. And you are as sick as your secrets are. So if you get it out and tell people, hey, I overcame this. We are overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. What we say out of our mouth is very important to somebody. First of all, you can say it to just God. You can just say it to the, to the air. You can say it and ain't even got to pray it, okay? But you could just say it. By you saying it, you're getting it out of your heart, your mind, your subconscious. You're letting it in the universe, in the atmosphere, like, God, take this, like, take this from me, take this off me, I don't want this no more, I don't want to be bothered by this, thank you for saving me through that thing, and seeing me through this, saving me, and seeing me through that situation, or whatever you had, whatever's on your mind right now, that's what I'm talking about, you thank them for that, you know what I'm saying, it's attitude of gratitude, so you become love, be of service, so serve others, people, serve in some capacity, you serve, that's your life's whatever your life purpose is, you, you'll find it. You'll figure it out. Trust me. If you're watching this, you're on your way to finding out what your life purpose is. And then um, serve, tell, and, and worship. So worship, to me, is straight up thankfulness, gratitude. Worship is gratitude. Whether it's in song, whatever your song and dance is, whether it's in dance, but some kind of way, become love, serve, tell, and worship. That's the name of the song. So I wrote it, and it goes, Be love, serve, tell, and worship. Become love, serve, tell, and worship. Become love, become love, become love, become love, become love, serve, tell, and worship. So, I'm going to play that for y'all one day on the keyboard. I have not perfected it yet, but every day I'm mastering that keyboard, and I will be on here. This is possibly going to turn into a YouTube singing, songwriting channel. Just a singing and a songwriting channel, song channel. So the songs I write, I'll be singing them on this channel. Sooner or later, I don't know the whole justification of everything and the whole how it's supposed to turn out, you know? And it's okay. We don't need to know how. We just know what we want to do or what we need to do. And that brings me to another point, writing it down. Simply taking a book, tablet of some sort, and writing, out, writing down your goals, your vision, what you want to do in life, what you're good at, what you think you're good at, and what you think you're not good at. Write it all down, y'all. Get it out. I'm telling you, get it out of your heart. Get it out of your mind and let it go. L-I-G it, y'all. L-I-G it. Too legit to quit. L-I-G means let it go. Let it go. So you do that by getting it out. Getting it out of your mind, getting it out of your, your head, and that that could be clouding up and not having clarity. So 
It could be your stinking thinking that's got you all messed up and confused and distracted and busy and not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? If I'm right and you, you hear me and you resonating with that, what I just said, type it down below, leave a comment, and let me know you understand what I'm coming, what I'm saying and what I'm coming from because it resonates with you. So write it down, get it out. And then I believe that some kind of way that will happen. It will come to, to pass. The Bible says, though your vision tarry, wait for it. He says, wait, wait for it. That's what it says. And it also says, write the vision and make it plain. Make it plain. That means detail for detail for detail. What do you see? What has God shown you in a dream or in a vision of some sort, what is that thing that you did perhaps when you was a child? What did you do when you was little that you done totally gave up on? You forgot, you was like, oh, that's just childhood dreams. No, that childhood dream was something you were born to do, baby. Uh-huh, yes, sir. That childhood dream is something you was born to do yes ma'am so do that how i'm gonna do that how i'm gonna make some money off of that i don't have enough money that's gonna take ten thousand dollars that's gonna take a lot to start up bible says do not despise the day of small beginnings don't hate what ain't Ooh, don't hate i'm about to choke on that one that's some real talk right there, y'all. Don't hate what ain't. What ain't there yet. What ain't happened yet. What 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 ain't seeable, visible yet. Don't don't hate on it. Do not despise or hate the day of small beginnings. Let it be small. Let it grow. It's got to grow. It's got to grow. You're growing or are you stagnant? You're growing every single day. Just because you grown a grown adult don't mean you stop growing. We grow day after day after day. We become new. All things become new. You change. You change in your body. You change in your mind. That's the most important thing. Ooh, just touched on something, y'all. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Do that. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How you gonna do that? Stop watching the crap you watching. Stop listening to that. Mm, that you listening to is going in there. Guess what? That's all that's gonna come out because the Bible says it says uh talking about be transformed by the view in your mind. It says what it's not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, it's what comes out the mouth that defiles a person. What's coming in? Your mind, your mouth, your ear gates. These are your gates. You got your ear gates, your eye gates, your mouth gates. What's coming in, whether it be food, physically, spiritually, what's getting in your mind? What are you allowing? to? And what you don't even, you know what's crazy? What you don't, what you allow is subtly, very subtly gets in there. You don't even think nothing wrong with it. Little cussing here, little cussing there. Then you're going to cuss. And it's going to quite sometimes be okay. Then you get busted. And you be like, oh, excuse me, pardon my French. No, it's in you. It's what comes out the mouth defiles a person. It's in you. That is your fruit. The Bible says you shall know them by their fruit. You shall know a person by the fruit they produce. I'm so glad that I'm inspired to be on here right now, right today. If you got time to watch this, I sure do appreciate you. That means you are a short timer. <laughs> I love my short timers. Yes, I do. Once again, if, you, if you're brand new to this channel, go ahead and click subscribe. Be inspired for more inspiration and motivational videos that are coming up always and go back and watch the ones that i've already done i do a lot of shorts which are quick snippets but this needed to be said tonight see i can't be just holding on to this stuff and not sharing it 
I need to inspire y'all and, and let you know that I, you ain't out there by yourself. I'm on this road with you. So why don't you come along for this journey and watch me grow and grow with you and I'll watch you grow. He cares for me. I care for you. I love you. I need you to survive. Do, do, do. I need you, short timers. You need me. We are a part of God's body. It is His will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Do, do, do. I'm going to play that on the piano too. Do, do, do. You are important to me. I need you to survive. This channel cannot survive without you. This channel, it took me a long time, like a year, just to get 100 subscribers. Now we're pushing over 600 subscribers. Come on now. I've got to keep doing this because I get a lot of feedback from you guys letting me know that it's good quality value material and stuff that you guys love and like and respond to. That's called the feedback that you give me. You're important to me. I need you and you need me. We need each other. That's what it is. That's what it's about. It's about unity. It's about love. It all goes back to love. That is the bottom line, absolute, period, point blank. If you don't love, what's the opposite of that? Yin, yang, good, bad, evil, good, um, love, hate, come on, hot, cold. Either you loving or you ain't. That's it. I'm out. Short time one is getting a little tired. I think I'm going to pop me some popcorn, watch some YouTube. <laughs> I might even watch this here and watch some popcorn. Eat some, watch some popcorn. Eat some popcorn and watch me. That's what I do. I inspire me. Come on now. I'll be buzzing up at myself on these videos when I rewatch them. <laughs> I'll be cracking up. For real, for real, y'all. So anyway, we're going to talk. We're going to engage. We're going to talk about what I talked about. And we're going to have a collab and uh, network and teamwork. Um, give me some ideas. And I, wanna, I got a question for y'all. I've never asked this before, but do you want to hear me sing? Like, you want to hear more singing videos? Like, like, and if you do, if you say yes to that, do you want to hear me sing, like, covers? Or spit some songs out there and I'll sing the songs that you um, suggest? Or do you want to hear some of my raw material that I wrote or I've written? Um, I don't want to wait until I learn each song with on the keyboard. It just seems like it's just going to take forever. It's, it's taking a long time, but I can learn one song at a time that I've written and then present that to y'all. We can do that. Or I can just sing the songs that uh, acapella, acapella. I like singing, um, with just my voice, but it sounds really good when you do have music to it. Um, I just haven't gotten in the studio to do any of that stuff as of yet. But that is my dream, my goal, my plan, and God's plan, too. So thanks again, Shard Timers. I'll see you back here. Take care. I'm going to go ahead and close it out now. We got less than 20 minutes video, and thank you again if you lasted all the way through the end. Bless you. Shard Timers out.